in the last videos of this series we discussed what is scan to beam how it will look like how to load scan data into the project how to start a project with the scan data what are the elevations what are the floors and what is property browser and project browser and their components and in this video we are going to start modeling first i will start with the wall component this is the pint load that we loaded into our project so first i will start with the architectural part and later we will see all the mep parts like piping ducts cable trays electric fixtures lighting fixtures so first i'll start with architecture we have here only one floor plan we can see here we have level 0 to level 1 so only one floor plan that is level 0 so i'll go to level 0 we can see here architectural part in this project only few walls and few doors are there remaining all mbp components are there so in this project i will show basics architecture i will discuss more about architecture i will come with another new scan data with including more architectural parts we will discuss how to do bit complicated architectural part so here i can show only with the four walls because we have here only four walls you can see here 1 2 three and four four side walls are there inside everything is mep components so i'll start with the wall so this scan data is scanned from inside only we have here only interior face of the wall we don't have exact thickness of wall in such a case we have to assume wall thickness 150 mm or 200 mm generic wall thickness in the case of metric project if the project is imperial then you can assume 5 inch or 6 inch thickness for the wall so i'll start to draw a wall for that and i will go to here architectural tab and i'll select here wall option when you select wall in property browser we can see here the name was basic wall if you want more option you can drop down here you will get the more option if you want curtain wall you will get a curtain wall here if you want any particular wall with a brick or any particular material composite you can select that wall also as of now we are using basic wall so i'll select this one and i will draw a wall from this end to this end click here this point and bring to near this point and right click on your mouse now we did placed a wall you can see here so i will match the one side of the wall to the point load if you go to 3d here you can see i will rotate now we are viewing this element in solid view you can see here this is solid if you want to change it to any other view like wireframe or realistic or shaded just i'll go to here down side you can see visual style i'll just click on that one and i'll select wireframe now we can see only wireframe transparent wall again i will go to level 0 and i will match one end of the wall to the point load now elements are in solid view so i'll make it visual style into wireframe now you can see the wall boundary is here and data is here just i will move select this wall and then move to this point because this scan from interior so this face is scanned so we are matching this face to this point load again i will take wall to draw this side wall and this side wall for that again i will go to here architecture tab and i'll select wall here otherwise we can select this wall and right click on that wall and you will get here create similar option you can select this option to create a similar wall so i selected i will click from this point to this point and i will move this wall to match this point load now we draw two wall now you can see here gap between two wall to join this two wall we'll go to modify tool here here we select option trim or extend we shall select and i'll select this wall and next then this wall it will get automatic connection similarly i'll create wall here and here now we are in you can see a sign here trim and extend to come out of this modify tool to exit from that mode just click escape on your keyboard now we came out from that trim tool once again i will right click on wall and i will select create similar and i will create a wall from this point to this point and i will match this edge to or we can move by selecting this element and here you can select move option and select the edge and move to this point or you can use another method select the wall and use arrow key to move left and right just I'll select and you can move by using keyboard now we match this point load also 
similarly i'll create wall here also i'll select this wall and i'll create similar and i'll click from this end to this end and i will move this wall from here to this end of the point load now we placed wall in the all side now i will join all these walls by selecting trim extend tool here i'll click on this wall and this one now it's got connected similarly i'll select this wall and this one and here also i will do same select the both wall now i drawn all the walls separately you can draw all the walls by clicking continuously just i'll select this wall create similar now i can create like this by selecting from this point to this point again this point to this point without leaving the tool you can create without leaving this tool just i will delete this now we can see these walls in 3d just i will go to 3d here now we are in wireframe so i will make it solid here i will go to visual style and i will change from wireframe to shaded now you can see we drawn all four walls so you guys can see here two doors are there later we will discuss about the doors this is how to draw a walls if you want to change the wall thickness you can see here we assumed here wall thickness if you want different size walls how to change that how to get that size so now i will show how to get different size of wall and how to add layers to the wall i will create a wall here now you can see to see the properties of the wall just select the wall and here in property browser you can see edit type in here property pop up you can see here all the parameters assigned to wall here inside the structure here another option is there edit if you edit here we can see all the properties of the walls like family name then type total thickness resistance thermal capacity here it will show layers of the wall if you want layer you can add layer also here now i will not change anything i'll just click on ok now here we can see wall thickness this is a wall thickness 75 mm and this is the plaster both side this is a exterior side and this is the interior side you can see interior here exterior or top from top it is exterior this is a wall the above part it's a exterior and below part is interior you can see interior and exterior side here so both side 12.5 mm the concrete is there so if you want anything to wall layers you can add both side also or you can add any one of the side as of now i will not change anything i just click on ok here this is a 25 mm wall thickness right we want more assume i want 200 mm thickness wall i will here the option is there duplicate i'll just click on duplicate and i will name it as a 200 mm i'll click on ok and i'll go to here edit type once again and i will change this 75 mm to 200 and i'll click on ok and once again i'll give apply and then ok now you can see the wall thickness got changed this wall thickness is 75 mm and this is a 200 mm you guys can see here i named this wall as a 200 mm you guys can see here in property browser i'll go to isometric view and if you want any extra material or pattern to the wall just go to edit wall edit type here we can add any additional material and we can provide pattern to that apply and then once again okay now this is about wall how to change how to duplicate wall sizes and also you can draw a wall in multiple shape like just i will take a wall right click on and i will do create similar now you can see here in modify tool you got so many options just i will select rectangular here you can take rectangular at one time similarly i will take pentagon and i will click on one click and you will get this similarly i will take circular we can draw a circular wall you can see in 3d here like this also you can draw a curve wall create similar you can draw a curve wall also more tricks are there everything i will discuss in upcoming video right now i will delete these things and we can see here the walls are from 0 to level 1 i will go to your south elevation you can see our walls from 0 to level 1 i will make it wireframe from here visual style you can see this is how to draw walls in scan beam projects if i select this wall you can see here in property browser base constraint is level 0 and base offset is 0 similarly top constraint is level 1 and top offset is 0 0 if i change the top offset value to minus 200 the wall will go downside you can see here this wall went downside similarly if i change the value to 500 wall will go down 
if I given plus 200, so it will go above the level. You can see here as if I'll give it to zero. Similarly, the base offset is there, right? If I click on base offset 200, the wall will come out 200 mm above from the level zero. Once again, I'll change it to 500. You can see wall came 500 mm above the zero level. I will make it zero as a default. So this is all about how to draw walls in scan to beam project. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you guys can get a notification whenever I will upload a new video. Thank you.